folks, welcome out to an episode of Glory Hunter with me, Dr. Benji FM. I hope you find you very, very well. Now, since we last met, only two games to speak of and two games with very contrasting feelings for me. As today, we've got Marseille in the French Cup third round. or I'm sorry, third round, 11th round. Third round for us, 11th overall. And um, yeah, the last couple of games that we've played, 2-0 win over to lose in, in the 10th round. That was a pretty good performance. King Husuk doing a fantastic job. And then, but by the way, how good is he? Well, uh, this is ridiculous. I don't know how he's suddenly become this wonder striker it feels like but he's improving so much and uh, yeah because we pay 2.4 million for him definitely a key man in our side right now although we have got a bit of an injury situation now if you take a look though in, in this game in league we're, we're a joke basically we got ourselves in a situation where at half time i was very much a little bit like well we're a bit of a mess here but get yourselves out after half time utter shambles still refused to change it in just a, just a just furious sort of sitting there like okay we're four nil down this is going well and in the last 10 minutes we scored three goals and the boys that got us into the mess nearly very much got us out of it those attacking trios up top they did the business i, I maybe could have done more to try and win it but at four nil i was just like no no you don't deserve to have a break you stay out there and uh regardless we lost anyway so it didn't really matter um today then as i say marseille and then vafsi coming up a little bit later on and the league campaign right now is a, i don't want to say it's in shambles viewers but we need to try and get back into Europe and right now we are five points behind Nancy uh, with Monaco and Vafsi in between us so that game in the league coming up in a moment is going to be important it's fair to say right before any of that though let's get this cup game out of the way but hopefully hopefully we can go through Marseille have had a really weird season so far so they're not going to be a pushover they're not going to be easy they start off the season absolutely horrendously and then have really turned it around losing just here and there one of those games luckily was to us so maybe we can do the business against them again here goes here goes nothing <laughs> Now, I did mention we had a bit of a striker situation, and I'm going to try and bring one in as a way to fix things. I'm not doing too much in the transfer window, it must be said, but the big news really is we've had a leg break, a really serious leg break as well. <sighs> Dear me, Schofield, where are you? There you are, Sch Schofield, Schofield. Um, the Englishman a broken up a leg at 9 to 11 months with that, which is, yeah, for a player of his quality is a real, real shame. Hopefully it doesn't affect his career too much as well, because it might be a player we look to go and get back next season if we'd have had a really good year this year. He was putting in a decent shift, a 7.19. Wasn't all about the goals, but was definitely part of the link-up play and involving himself in a front three. So, yeah, a real shame uh, to replace him. As mentioned, we are trying to bring somebody in to try and fix this mess as it is right now. Uh, you can see there, Pascal Thomas is the guy. Uh, we're getting him on a loan from Monaco, of all places. Uh, but you can see what I'm looking for again, similar to Schofield. Pace, dribbling ability, good finishing ability. And, uh, yeah, maybe we'll have a, a part to play in the season towards the back end. Uh, so far, actually, has played a little bit in Nationals 2 and is doing okay. So, worth bringing in. Attributes were the big thing for me, though. And, uh, yeah, he provides what we've maybe lost on the, uh, the the forward front. Although, we do have quite a few players still here. Four still here, of course. Uh, we've got Mikel Torreno, who sort of floats in and around. Yanchev and uh, Ivanov, currently out injured causes a bit of an issue so going into this game then we do have the spot that Schofield filled to fill and um, I think the obvious move for me is to move Joao Victor probably across to that side again play him as maybe maybe never complete forward you know but it's possible and then Mikel Torreira comes in behind them uh, the midfield three hate each other so that's good there's like genuine hatred between these three and they're, they're, they're the best three I've got I could play Yanchev but quality wise these three are the best I'm just leaving it I'm just letting them you know work it out between them also, Lucas is going to come in uh, at right back as well. And this then is the side, although I'm now more tempted to maybe play him as a deep line forward. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually not going to do any of those things. I'm going to change things up quite dramatically, viewers. I'm having a change of heart now. Usually, I'd cut this bit out and just introduce the team, but I'm thinking. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the three in the centre. And Marilla is going to come in and play at that central point. And then uh, Yanchev is going to come in for Yonik, who's had a really weird season for me this season. It has been really strange. Uh, we're then going to do something I've talked about a few times, but I don't think I've ever actually done with you here. So, here we go. Let's play these two boys in behind Kim Hooksu and see if the business can get done. This is important. The next, the next two games are important, it should be said. All right, away at Marseille. It could be a challenge. I say we've played the system a few times, so familiarity, especially defensively, is not too bad. But going forward, they still need to learn it a little more. We actually be training as two formations, really. They're playing a four-two-three-one, and uh, we're playing what is traditionally known as the Christmas tree. This might be a weird place to interject this piece of information, but the Football Manager Streamer Showdown, where streamers take on each other in a, a live format, uh, competing against one another. There's a league section and a knockout section. They happen today and tomorrow. Uh, tonight, from 7 o'clock, I'll be playing through my league fixtures uh, live on Twitch, as Kim Hooks do, nearly gives us the lead. Uh, I thought I'd mention it now, as this video is going up on Saturday. Uh, so it's tonight, twitch.tv slash Dr. Benji from 7pm onwards. Hopefully, lots of you at this point know all about it. And I'll probably be a video tomorrow, 
uh, discussing how I maybe did in the league, as well as what's going to happen on the Sunday. Things are going to get pretty intense, I would imagine. Also, if I'd be remiss to mention, Liverpool won the league. So, yeah, there wasn't a video yesterday. Uh, mainly because of the weather. It's just like got this muggy hold over me right now. I had terrible hay fever yesterday. I can feel it coming again now, if I'm honest. And, um, yeah, Liverpool won, the, Liverpool won the league. Liverpool won the league. Liverpool won the league. You know, until I see Jordan lift it up, I'm still not there yet. But I cried at least twice. So, you know, there we are. At half-time, um, it's been very boring. <laughs> we need something to happen here, really. By the way, uh, noted, a few people talking about maybe getting a, a podcasty episode, talking through the Spain squad for the upcoming tournament. Good idea. I think we will do that soon. Uh, maybe over the next friendly period, we'll sort of do have quite a long podcasty episode. So people that want the reference, points to the Spanish team uh, will get those so that yeah good idea uh, looking at this game by the way 60 minutes gone and there's there's an incident viewers and we're making a wall which is never good as uh, Santos has got a free kick in a dangerous position shoots just wide so far as the away side things are kind of going as I want them to I've got to be honest we're playing a very similar like stylistically we're playing basically what the diamond does so it is quite a slow quite a patient style of play so I'm not expecting too much too quickly as then again, corner played in and, okay, now we need something with 12 minutes to go or we are out of the cup. This is a disaster, viewers. Um, obviously, this is a tournament we need to be in and now Marseille have scored a goal and I don't know what to do. So good, isn't it? It's good. This is what we wanted. I've lost a key striker days before and now here we are. All right, Amarillo's coming out. I'm going to go back to the di Am I going to go back to the diamond? I'm tempted to play this, viewers. I am going to play this because we need the goal. Why? In fact, I'm going to play this. We're going to play much more direct, much quicker, exploit both sides, hopefully, not work it into the box so much. We're, get we're, we're speeding things up a bit, gang. Counter press, distribute quickly, get it launched forward. Come on now. Lines are going up. We viewers, we need a goal. It's proper cup action all of a sudden. I realise I've not I've done too many like desperate cup moves for a while, but here one is. In fact, and also men maybe go attacking at the same time, and it's a chance for Marseille. But you can see if we clear the ball, there's a three on two at the back, and the first part of that though is winning the ball as the board is cleared away. Bernard flicks it on. We're not really changing. Oh, we've ch we've chased it down and given it back to them. That's not how you chase the ball down. Santos now ball played in again. Danger everywhere. Is that hit the crossbar or the top of the bar? Yeah, it did. And goes out five minutes to go. We need a goal. I was quite happy being quite passive and being quite patient in this game and now the t now the t now we're out of it so that's gone really well oh fantastic viewers this is what you want on your saturday isn't it to be hello this is what you want on the saturday to be out of the the french cup before you've even really been in it it feels like last year we went on a crazy run i'm gonna sound far from please we went on a crazy run <sighs> this year no psg scraped through as well flipping heck I might, if they'd have gone out i'd have felt even worse and lil have gone out of course they won it last time so drama viewers so ourselves and lil who had really good runs at it last year both knocked out in games that maybe we should have could have won look marseille very very similarly matched to us i've actually lost less games than us despite their terrible start we've won a couple more here or one more here or there um yeah that's a problem i say this could be a terrible episode viewers i'm playing vafsi next if we don't win against vafsi we're in all sorts of trouble i know it's really fc i know it's not ever said vafsi but it's it's my thing i'm at the transfer window i'm sure i'm going to get offers for players here and there but i've got no interest no one wants abe oh no speak to them abe speak to them he wants to leave and i'm happy for him to go um go, yeah come on i've no doubt i'm going to get the odd bid from certain teams and i guess we'll see how those develop as uh, a big game in the league actually as monaco beat nancy that's quite interesting because of the way that the league oh, it's the french cup ben you're an idiot the competition that you've just been knocked out of yeah it's my mind's gone viewers it's the weather it's the, blame the weather at all opportunities all right transfer deadline day i've got nothing really worth doing. like it's funny because our squad's in a position where it can be improved probably in the summer. I'm not sure it can be improved massively right now as big bids are about to come in for Diallo here. As uh, Pascal Thomas joins us then from Monaco and um, we've had a £23 million bid there, 26 by Sevilla for Diallo. This is this is a bit awkward because he's a player that I didn't bring in to be fair. He's been here before I arrived. He's having an okay season, but it's big money this. Like Leeds have gone £23 million for 35. I'll probably let him go, like right now, for 35 up front, why not? Leeds, they've not said yes. See, I think there, I think there's a value on him, I've got to be honest. Like, you probably want to see what he, you probably want to see him briefly. So this is what he is. I mean, like, heading-wise, he's lacking something. I mean, oh God, he's gone. Uh, mentally, physically, he's pretty good. He's got the attributes you kind of want for a defender. But, I mean, for the right price, I'm going to let him go. 32 million is so much money. They've... they've 
They'll do. I reckon they'll do thirty-one. Like th- in fact, they'll, they might do thirty-two without any other clauses. So they're trying to do a little bit more over a period of time. If I just do thirty-one straight, they've now come back with a really awkward. Oh no! See, there's one after international appearances. So really, see, it's not. Uh, I feel like most of you would probably accept this, but my my thought process is he's still gonna have two years left on his contract in the summer. If if I need to, I'll sell him then. There's not a great need for me to. They might come back in, viewers. Oh, this is all before Vafsi as well. This is all I need. Comes to making offers for Jaden Sancho, who. I think at this point his career is probably not going to make my side much better. The one thing I did consider, and obviously as we're sort of going through deadline day in the middle of, the, middle of this episode, it's clear I'm not doing it, was maybe the possibility of signing wingers. But again, it's one of those situations was I'll probably get them cheaper in the, in the summer. Buying in, in January, like players go for a premium. You've seen Diallo, the bids on him that have come in. So I'm prepared to wait for the summer. And let's be real, there might be another job offer on the table. I, I went for Monaco, didn't get it because of the relationship with Nice. We're in a weird moment right now as Nice manager because we're knocked out of the cup now. We know that's not happening. What if like the Marseille job came up now? Would I switch? Ah, glory hunter. If then the only job that's really available in Ligue 1 right now that I would maybe consider is the Lille job. Now, Lille have got a really... They've got they've got a really like tidy team, so it is a team that I'd maybe consider moving to. Um, they're currently eighth, but I think in terms of prospects going forwards, they've got slightly off oh, viewers. It's it's a it's tough, but worth mentioning because obviously we've got a project here, and moving to Lille, it's still a project. It's a project with far more possibilities, and I've not got long. <laughs> okay, actual money for Abe. I mean, yes, all, all, all the yeses. Do you know what? This is just going to be two quite simple games and instead it's become a transfer of Bonanza viewers. And Ivanov back uh, off the injury list, which is important because now that we've lost Schofield, it's worth having him around, I think. It's worth having him around. It's worth starting him in every game. Oh, by the way, right, I forgot to mention it last episode because my care for it, viewers, is null and void. So in the Europa League, I was knocked out. I came third in my group and I thought, oh, never mind, our European journey's over. No, it's not. I've got to take part in the Europa 2 bollocks, haven't I? Because our oh, great news. I'm not, not happy about this at all. Sturm Graz. We might win it. It might be our best chance getting into Europe, viewers. I'm aware. So I'll take it semi-seriously because, we, it again, might be our best route back into the Europa League. So not, not a great time for me, though. An interesting February coming up. All right, we're going to drop Amarilla. Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't know if, I, if that's the right move or not. And Pascal Thomas is going to get a start. In his first game, playing on a on the right side, where I'm not sure he's at his best, but with two, I mean, how good is Kim Hooks? This is so weird to me. When I brought him in, it was like a bit of a late. Oh yeah, we should probably definitely sign him. And now here we are. I feel like I've got one of the best strikers in Europe potentially. 19, pretty good. All right, Joe Victor then is going to play just behind as well. That's going to be the move. I mean, he's my best player by a mile. All right, Joe Victor's going to play in behind. Whether I'm playing him on the support duty or not is always a bit of a debate for me. I guess we will do on this occasion. And we'll see how Thomas does. He's the fittest of the two. I would play Ivanov, but he's not quite there yet. Uh, get him, Getting him on the bench as well as Mikhail Torreira. Probably quite important, Ben. So do both of those things. As uh, Here we go then. A big, big game in the context of the league. Win this. Oh, we're still in the hunt. Lose this and... Our league campaign, as well as our cup camp- campaign, are sort of over. This is actually a big worry because <laughs> I've got a lot of the season left and I genuinely feel a little bit like this is a bit of a, you know, the classic six points of yours. Right, come on, I've got to try and motivate here. Got to try and get the best out of them because recent performances have not been good enough. We've got three in a cup competition, which inevitably meant nothing. So the league form's got to get back on track now. Less distraction, apart from that silly European thing. And we're going to start positive. With the home side, let's try and play a little bit like we are the home side. So far, a couple of in, uh, a couple of bookings to our side. As Joe Victor at the back post. Another really important goal for him. Quite a few goals and assists for him this season. Eighth for him now, as Janshev provides as well. Amarilla out of the side, and we seem to be better for it. It feels like already, viewers. Janshev's ball in. Great header at the back post. And uh, 1-0. Okay, and you can see from that league table then we go above them if we win this game and that's what's important and again we're still I say all of this right like if we lose it that is the problem because we're then so far much behind the Champions League places and that's really what we're aiming for I want to be in that convers viewers oh my god okay we're fine everything everyone relax I want to be in that Champions League conversation and winning this putting us four points behind Monaco still allows me to believe that that is possible as well of course qualifying for the Europa League and allowing me to improve the squad again having been in it last year being it two years in a row it makes maybe players think oh yeah they're, they're a contender for for European competitions and that's what you need to be in as uh, 1-0 so far quite a quiet game other than that but we'll take it obviously there was a moment where we nearly threw it in the bin so you know that's good 
All right, now, see, when we've got a lead, I'm so much calmer because I know that the way that we play is very hard to break down. Fantastic news, viewers. My star man, Sher Victor, uh, can't play the rest of the game. Is it Amarillo for his quality or is it Mikel Torreira for his... Uh, see, all those red arrows of, of mind games we there, viewers. I think Mikel Torreira is the obvious choice, though. I think he's not amazing in that particular role. He's better playing slightly further ahead, but a bit of responsibility for him. That's, that's been what he needs. <laughs> trying to give it to myself there viewers thomas is having a really really quiet first game and as he's just come back from injury ivanov's going to come back on of course it'd be the key man for us so far in this nice journey so can he come on and maybe make a positive impact i'll be honest though right now gang we'll take the result as it is one nil it's not particularly spectacular i'll demand a little bit more with only a few seconds to go i'll go cautious as well keep that ball give them the opportunities as the second highlight has arrived as Ivanov, though, is in on goal, sort of. If you can pull it back, there's maybe a chance for a second here. We can wrap this game up. That's the hope. That's the dream. Is the shot from distance from Yannick there. Goes close, but not quite in. Forget cautious. Go defensive. Shut, shut this up now. Come on. Time wasting forever. Yanchev's got a corner. We know his set pieces are usually pretty good as he's whipped towards that front post. Cleared away, though. And you can see defensively, we're, we're okay. And there we are then. Time is up. And wow, it's a 1-0 win. It's so unspectacular. It's so nice. And uh, well done, lads. We'll take it after so much hecticness going on between the transfer window in the first game. Uh, it's, uh, for good sake, viewers. He's out for four to five weeks. I mean, the specialist will make it slightly less, four weeks. But even so, come on. It's just bad timing. It's just really bad timing. All right, knowing we've got Mikel Torreira, it makes me less stressed about it. You see our run, though, coming up now uh, in this February period. We've got some definitely winnable games. Leon is obviously going to be a tough one. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's not going to be very much fun. I'm looking towards maybe March, though. They might be the games that we'll come to next. We've got to try and plough through a little bit more. And, of course, trying to stay in that conversation in the top lot is going to be the challenge. I mean, that's a really big result. I can't really take too much away from the boys there. Vafsi have been dealt with. Rude van Nistelrooy is Nafsi. Uh, Valenciennes. Might be how you say it. Apologies to people who actually support them. Anyone? But there we are. That's going to wrap things up. If you've enjoyed it, please do drop a like on it. Want to see some more? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm in love with care. If you're not to until next time, I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Did a wave there? That was spontaneous.